tries to talk to Cody. He's extremely angry. He tries to go through his locker room. He won't let anybody in. He's hurting very bad. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Stratus. I'm really busy thriving and things like that, but I did make room in my schedule for the contract signing. Thank you, Trish. Wow. Oh, you get it. I love that. Um, speaking of said contract signing, um, Becky, you know, she's a little, what's the feisty, fiery, you know how those gingers can be. Um, so I was thinking today, <laughs> maybe a nice idea to have a no-touch policy. Oh, fact, my God. <laughs> Environment, you know, this oh my gosh, like Trish, you gotta be kidding me. Well, Trish, uh, you might have noticed there's a lot going on tonight, and frankly, to be honest, I'm not sure if there's a need for no touch gloves. Okay. So, thank you, Trish. There's no need. Oh, I don't know. We'll see about that. All right, let's get this contract signing started, shall we? Becky Lynch is here. <laughs> Looking good too. What the style? Those glasses are freaking fingers or hands or something. That's pretty cool. We need Trish Stratus now. <laughs> Becky's already signing it. All right, where are you, Trish? Come on. <laughs> Feet on the table. <laughs> Come on, Trish! <laughs> Finally! Jeez! Oh my god, Trish wanted a no touch policy. Alright, well, here's Trish Stratus. He needs a sign now. Keener, you jumped right into it. Great, so eager. It's funny. Well, that Frankie still has his glasses on. Back to Raw after I kicked your head off, though, were you? Oh, don't tempt her. <laughs> you know, I have to say, this is kind of a big moment, guys. This is my first contract signing. Oh my gosh, how wonderful! No, it's a big deal. <laughs> Oh my god. Goat has come around to, uh, what is this? Was it to Hershey like the chocolate? Um, to Hershey. <laughs> <laughs> Hershey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at you, so cool, casual, kick back. You got your weird little glasses. She's a man, she's better than Snap. These are not a big deal, right? You've had so many of them, right? And do you know why you've had so many of them, Becky? Oh boy. Because of me. Oh. Because of the work I did. Because I single handedly changed the woman's wrestling to the point where you could get done doing your Irish jigs in some dump of a restaurant. And you could come back and put so your Becky smile a smile there. Part of the landscape of the women's division because of me. You know, you said that I want to come back because I want to be number one again. Honey, I am number one. I am still number one, and I will always be number one. In fact, I was number one the minute I walked in the WWE, and it did take a broken nose for me to get there. Wait. She's still Cordy you Lee. Say oh no. You're it? Well, what happens when I beat you at Night of Champion? I guess that makes me it. And what will happen to you when that happens? You will you crawl back into a dark, deep place and have to go do your stuff again? Oh man. See, Becky, I've got you figured out. I see your weak spots. Your biggest problem is you. You're your worst enemy. 
when you said you wanted to find a name and a face for the badness in your head, it had a name all along. It was staring back at you in the mirror. So, I'll sign this. All right, good. On time. You don't have to tell me what to do, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> are off. All right, let's get down to business now. Let's flip the table. <laughs> You're scared, aren't you, Trish? <laughs> I saw that little thing with you and Adam Pierce in the back. You're scared that I'm going to hurt you. Don't worry, Trish. I'm not going to hurt you. I want you in the full of your hell for a night of champions. But you're scared of something bigger, aren't you? That's what all of this is about. You're scared that history is forgetting you. I mean, time, it's passing all of us by, and everybody's getting better, but you just stayed the same. And what's more, and this is a problem for you, is that they remember you as being better than you are. But I... <laughs> I'm even better than you think that I am. So you don't need to worry about why I was gone. You just need to worry that I am back. There we go. You, you, you want your flowers. You want your flowers. You want your flowers. That's what all of this is about. Okay, I think we're all past that. But okay, I'll say it to your face. Thank you, Trish. Thank you for being everything I hope I never become. <laughs> because you're vapid, I'm passion. You're trashy, I'm soul, heart, and fashion. You're cold, I'm hot. I'm it, you're not. That was good. And so you can you can stop in the back the difference is I will punch you in the face every single time <laughs> and that's why I can look at myself in the mirror know that I'm not perfect like you think that you are and I can carry on regardless and that is why even with the badness in my head I've been able to have a career that you could only dream of Well, you, you've done things that would give me nightmares. And if you think barking like a dog is embarrassing, <laughs> just wait until I whoop your ass at Night of Champions. <laughs> God. Welcome to the big time, bitch. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, and Trish flips the table and she's leaving. <laughs> That was good. Oh my gosh.